Hey everyone, New England Gardening here. Today's Saturday, June 9th, 2012. I'm setting up a table and my heat mat outside here. I, ha I do have a plug outside, but I'm not certain if this, uh, I don't think this is an outside heat mat. But anyways, I'm setting up the heat mat because I've got some plants that um, require some special growing conditions and um, it's recommended that they get if not greenhouse conditions, at least full sun as soon as the, the seedlings emerge. Um, and so grow lights aren't going to cut it. So I'm going to bring them outside here. It's a really nice sunny day for, for once. So let me go ahead and get the tray and uh, I'll show you what I'm attempting to grow this summer. Well, here they are. And what are they? They're watermelons. But they're not just regular watermelons. Um, what I've decided to try to grow is a seedless variety called Amarillo and in addition to being seedless it's yellow so I thought that would be interesting variety to grow the only thing is that um, seedless watermelons are very uh, they germinate very weakly and so they have special growing requirements uh, it's not something you just throw in the soil and can expect to get a plant out of so um, they recommended a soil temperature of 85 degrees and they wanted the soil on the dry side. They came up pretty quickly. It was three days. And so I decided to bring them outside because another recommendation was that you have them in direct sun as soon as they germinate. So I didn't think grow lights were going to cut it. We finally have a nice sunny day today after a lot of rainy days so taking advantage of that but the seedless variety interesting because they're also referred to as triploid uh, watermelons and that refers to a uh, little quick biology review here that re uh, refers to the sets of chromosomes and triploids have three sets and it's a hybrid it's a cross between a diploid which is the watermelons that have seeds and which have two sets of chromosomes and a tetraploid which has four sets so you end up with these um, this watermelon variety here that doesn't have seeds it has the occasional seed or else you wouldn't be able to propagate them I guess uh, they have these little white pips that are edible that's usually what you get uh, inside these watermelons but so what happens is with the triploid uh, you have to plant them uh, with a pollinator variety and the one they, they did give me a set of four seeds uh, a variety called ace so that's right next to it here and I guess you get the cross pollination now what happens is the reason you don't get seeds with a triploid is that in, again back to biology when you have meiosis which is the pairing of chromosomes because you have this odd number they don't pair and they don't produce pollen and they don't produce uh, the ovules or the seeds so that's why you end up with uh, no seeds so they're coming up and you know it, it still could fail they recommend that the temperature even at night uh, maintain about 80 85 degrees and ideally in a greenhouse so I brought them outside I'll th I think I'll have them on the heat mat during the night I don't know maybe I'll bring them inside um, but in, in addition I'm growing some other uh, melons and cantaloupes uh, I've got another variety here of uh, red uh, watermelon called little baby I've got uh, melon sun Jewel, and this is a cantaloupe. Sarah is another yellow watermelon, the seed variety, seeded variety. And I thought this was interesting. This is a French melon, um, Charente. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that, but it's sort of oblong in shape. So I thought that that would be interesting to grow. You know, I have a small pumpkin variety here also but yeah the seedless watermelon 
and it's yellow. We'll see if um, I have any success growing it and we'll watch the progress during the summer here. Might put, put them on a trellis. Not certain at this point, but we'll see what happens. They'll be interesting. So this is New England Gardening and thanks for watching.